Hey everyone, welcome back to Bourbon Battles. I'm Joe. And I'm Chad. Oh boy. So today's mail call. So if you've never seen a mail call episode, here's how it goes. We take, we pick a blind whiskey out of the bag that's been sent to us by either you, the viewer, or a distillery. And we give her a review blind. So we don't just do, traditionally, we don't just do, grab a something that's been sent to us and just review it. We want to do it blind. We don't want to know what we're drinking. Right. So you want to, I'll do it. Okay. Chad gets a little carried away. You can pick an envelope. Well, you got to show me which one it is first. Yep. Number 17. Lucky 17. And I'll pour them up while you're doing that. 16, 17. So. It's good. We have no idea what we're doing. Hey, and while we're uh, sniffing on these, make sure you go to www.bourbonbattlesblind.com. Where you'll find links to all of our social media, including Patreon, where you can join an amazing group of fellow Patreon members that love to share whiskey. If you want to know more about that, send me an email. You'll find the link to our email there, too. They like to share whiskey, and they like to share whiskey stories, and they like to share whiskey information, and, you know. Hey, by the way, a lot of people are watching those Patreon members, and everybody's so happy that you finally joined the Facebooks. Yeah, I, I accepted but you haven't made one comment. You're right, because that's the last time I was on there. <laughs> that's all right. I'll get to it. Yeah. When? Christmas? Hopefully before then. Yeah, but it is it, it, what they're doing. It, Patreon's it's five bucks streaming. a month. Patreon's five dollars a month. And I think every one of those Patreon members will tell you the Look benefits. Put the legs on that. Every one of them guys would tell you the benefits for that five dollars a month very much outweigh the cost. Yeah. They're, they're having a blast. Yeah. And it's a, it's a small, tight-knit group. Um, yeah. It's got a good nose on it. Mm-hmm. Flavor's not bad. It's unique. I mean, it's got a... Everything you say. It's not a traditional bourbon. I bet it is. You think it is? So we like to keep these short and sweet. What do you think about that? Is that something you, well, you know, yeah. what it costs? You, I, you I, would, enjoy I, that. I would like to have a model of it. I don't yeah. know what it is. Let's see what it is. That's good. I like that. I think it is. It's probably going to be some portion. It's probably going to be. Oh, no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a good one. Oh, yeah. Luxrow 12 year double barrel. First time I've ever had it. I've got a model of it. And I've had it. It's open. I've drank it more than once. Uh, it's sourced from an unnamed distillery. I think it's uh, it's uh, aged in two different barrels. It says 12 years each, but there's not 24. There's 12 total. 12 total, yeah. It's 118.4 proof, and it's a distillery-only release. However, I think now that it's not a distillery-only. I got it at the distillery. I was at the distillery, and it's it's expensive. Yes. I did not buy good. it because it was it's expensive. It's good. I think it's good. Um, it's really good. It's sent to us by right here, a uh, Patreon member. Thank you. Thank you very much. But um, it's, like I said, those are 120 proof, but it doesn't drink like 120 proof. I think it's really, I think it's, you know. I, it, is it finished? No, it's just blended. Okay. I think that it's from the big boys up the road, and I don't know where the other one was. I, I got him to tell me that, I think, but I couldn't get him to tell me the whole story from from Four Roses, um, Heaven Hill. Okay, I think part of it is most of their stuff was a lot right? of it, the yeah. Rebel yeah. and of as, it until they got enough age. And yeah. If you guys have never been to Lux Row and you're heading through Bardstown, you should if, miss it. Even if you just pop in the gift shop, it's a really nice place. It's new and I mean, yeah, relatively, yeah, it's relatively new. It's you know, I still prefer those old distilleries, right? To have some age to them and some. Charisma. What about, what about the stories that got wells in the right. There is about. one in Cincinnati. I mean, it's not in Cincinnati, it's Kentucky, but it's Cincinnati. It's got a well in the handicap spot. <laughs> but so I want to talk about that real quick. We got just a minute. Um, when you're headed, like, say you go to the Bourbon Trail, and I don't know that you do this, but I always do this. And tell me if I'm wrong. But so I'll give you an example. Lux Row, right? Um, that's a good one. Whoever that came from. That's, yeah, right here. Yeah. It's hey, man. It's. It's a good pick. Yeah. So as you're, as we're driving and we we're going down to uh, Limestone Branch, which I think I can speak to Chad. We both love that place. Tiny little distillery that puts out cool stuff, cool experience. And you know, we live what two hours from there ish. Two fifteen. Two fifteen. Two thirty. Two and a half, maybe. So as my wife and I are driving, we have an appointment right for a tasting and stuff. 
you know, because you book that online. And I'm like, hey, we got time to kill. We're going to be early. Let's run into Lux Row and just see what's in the gift shop. So at the time, they had this, the Davies County Toasted Barrel. And it was distillery only at the time. Now it's out in the market. Yeah, I'm, I got a bottle from Red Barrel. Yeah, so it's it's okay. Yeah. Um, but what, I guess my point is when you're driving around, like, um, you know, if you're at Limestone Branch, run over to Maker's Market real quick. Even if you only go to the gift shop and pick up, because these guys all have bottles. You a, lot see times, yes, a lot of times they do. Or have ex distillery exclusive stuff. Yeah. So just because you don't have a tour and a tasting, don't discount <laughs> those places. No, they'll still sell you stuff. And I'll tell you, you know, I did not buy it's this good. when I was there. I wish I would have. It's good. I mean, it's expensive. It is, it's not cheap. No. But it's good. So if you collect whiskey, you're going to check this out. Speaking of checking things out, do it with your friends. Do it responsibly. Don't drink and drive. It's not worth it. If you drink, don't drive to the watermelon crop.